JJ, welcome to the program. Oh, uh, thank you for Hi. considering me on your show, Dr. Laura. Thank you. What can I help you with? Um, I uh, I've just come out of a uh, six-year relationship, um, 56. I was divorced 10 years ago. Um, and you and were divorced because? Because... Uh, Listening to your book about ten times, um, it would be it was the thing to do at the time. Career successes, uh, three beautiful children, um, and I lost <clears throat> interest. And in it. it's taken many, many years, but I'm getting. I'm sorry. There what did you children. lose interest with? I didn't understand that yet. Uh, my my wife, at the time, the children's mother. Yes. You lost interest in her. Yeah. For all the reasons that you've... No, and what are all the reasons? I don't know what they are for you. So what were the reasons, the reasons that you lost interest yeah. in her? I did, did not find her... I, I, I did, did not... I didn't love her anymore, and I didn't find her attractive as... I had never said that to anybody because I would never want her to know her or hurt her feelings. But that's what happened, and as a result, it turned into a separation. Oh, your motive, and your motive for courting her and marrying her was what? Uh, initially, I, it was it was love. Uh, it was, as I had mentioned, it was I guess what I thought was the next chapter of my life: marriage and children. And I have no regrets of the children and the marriage. It's the cause and effect after that that I, I struggle with and the reasons I am where I am today. Did you call for the marriage? No. She I didn't did? call for the marriage. I didn't call to talk about my six-year breakup with someone I thought I was going to spend the life of my life with. Um, I'm not calling to blame anyone. I'm not calling to look back at my past and try to find out if there was anyone in my family that has maybe wired me the way I am or giving some of the behavioral traits that I have that I am I'm not happy with and can haunt me when I look back at them. Uh, I'm here to ask <clears throat> for guidance or help in my fear of, at this point in my life, not necessarily being alone, but I am very fearful that will I be able to change? I want to change. I know there well, are behaviors. What would you have to, I don't understand, that, sir, yet. What would you have to change? Yes, what, what is that my, that would have to behavior, change? My behavior. Some, some, you, my can behavior, you be more specific about these things so yes. I understand what, what you mean? Yes. Yes. I can be critical of others, judgmental, controlling. Um, I can be less than social adaptive. Um, I don't know how to... Uh, go with the flow. I, I I struggle with social situations, and uh, I lack sometimes kindness and generosity, which should always be unconditional. Um, but there's small behavior problems in relationships that I am critical and say things, and I, I do not adapt well to social situations. And I'm always attracted to my last relationship, which was a. Uh, a woman that was very outgoing and very positive as opposites attract. You've alluded that in your book. Um, and the cause and effect of that ending was a lot of little breadcrumbs over, over five, six years of being critical, being less than socially adapted and, 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 and not understanding the generosity that other people always try to do each other further. And you add them all up and you got a loaf of bread and that was, it's been the story, of my, it's been not the story of my life, but it's been a behavioral issue of my life that I can look back at so many instances with my children and family and why my family and my children and my friends are still with me is something that I'm so appreciative of. And they're with me. They, they want me to help myself. Um, and so to try to allude to the question that I'm asking you is an individual like myself or an individual in general, if they want to condition themselves to change or, or, or have a better filter or be that, that 
better man, father, loving brother, and kind friend to others. It, how, how, what is, what kind of approach does an individual take with the desire and want to make behavioral changes or a better filter or just approaching things in a more positive, joyful way and for a joyful life? How does one begin that challenge? Well, the way you begin that challenge is to go back and start with all the things you said we are not going to talk about. Okay. Bad behavior is self-protective behavior. That means I can just, you're injured emotionally inside, and ultimately you protect yourself because those behaviors you mentioned, as I said, are self-protective. So without going back, to get an understanding of what injured you and under what motivations you protect yourself, it's not going to change because ultimately we are animals and self-defense is the number one motivation we all have. So all the things you said you didn't want to talk about, you have to, because there's a key there. They're defeating to hear back, aren't they? (laughs) So what, 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 if, what should I, what should I, what should I try to do then? uh, Go back into therapy if you've never been there. I have, well, have the courage well, well. and have the courage to go backwards to the source back. emotionally. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. If you want to avoid all that, then just stop being a shit. I, That's the only other way. When you see yeah. yourself not being generous, turn it on. Doesn't matter how you feel. When you find yourself get ready to be critical or mean or something. Stop yourself and give a compliment. You could do it that way, sort of um, manual override. Yes. Because you're not a, a stupid man, so you know when you're behaving poorly. You know when you're hurting feelings. You know when you're being intimidating. You know when you're being scary. You know when you're being upsetting. Correct. And my guess is you left a perfectly good woman because she didn't amplify your self-image. So there's a lot to go back yeah. on. All the things that you said you did not want to touch on, you must do that, or manual override. Watch yourself 24-7, well, except when you're sleeping, and make the effort in spite of how you feel. At least you will be perceived as a better man. That, Without actually changing. Yeah. That. Oh, those I are have, two options. I had the resilience. I, I had the resilience and the fortitude, and the want to do that. Well, you and came on telling me that I, you were not going to do that. Do you remember that five minutes ago? That I was not going to make a change. Very good. No, that you were not going to touch, you know, the marriage, your wife, the the parents, the childhood. You're not going to touch any of that. You called about how you can change in a vacuum, and the answer is you can't. That's, yes. I, I, I understand. I don't think I you do, and that's why you need the therapy, I, because you need to understand yeah. you better. That's the point of the therapy, to truly understand what you're defending against, what you're protecting yourself from, what you're scared of, the things that you give no countenance to. We have to look at that, and then you'll finally see your pattern, and you might feel relief from it. And then your motivation to protect yourself at all costs won't be so huge drive. Yes, yes, I, I... I understand. I understand. And um, that 
is my next chapter. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. My number, 1-800-375-2872. We're going to take a break. Come right back. Sometimes the biggest growth is to give up on something we cannot have. It's the price of your freedom. Need a cure for your problems? Let bygones be bygones. Let go. 